Riyadh Salahin. Chapter 170, Supplication at the Time of Writing Allah, the Exalted, says And He is the one who created all things in pairs, and made for you ships and animals to ride, so that you may sit firmly on their backs, and remember your Lord's blessings once you are settled on them, saying, Glory be to the one who has subjected these for us, for we could have never done so on our own. And surely to our Lord we will all return. Quran chapter 43 verse 12 to 14 Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, reported, whenever the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, mounted his camel for setting out on a journey, he would recite, Allahu Akbar, Allah is greatest, thrice. Then he, peace be upon him, would supplicate, far removed from imperfection is the one who has made this subservient to us, for we have no power to subjugate it, and certainly to our rub shall we return. O Allah, we ask you during this journey of ours for righteousness, piety and such deeds as are pleasing to you. O Allah, make easy for us this journey of ours and make the distance short for us. O Allah, you are our companion during the journey and the guardian of the family and the property in our absence. O Allah, I seek refuge in you from the hardships of traveling, unhappiness connected with ghastly scenes and evil turns in property and family. When he returned, he recited this supplication making addition of these words, We are those who return, those who repent, those who worship and those who praise our Rub. Reported in Sahih Muslim. Commentary, this is a very comprehensive prayer. Man is not safe from dangers during a journey and in his absence, safety of his household may worry him, too. In this prayer, Allah is entreated to ensure the safety of the two in most effective words. And none can harm that person who comes under the watch and protection of Allah. This prayer should be recited upon starting on a journey as well as returning from it. Abdullah bin Sarjis, may Allah be pleased with him, reported, whenever the Messenger of Allah peace be upon him proceeded on a journey, he would seek refuge in Allah from the hardships of the journey, and against deviation after guidance, and against the supplication of the oppressed, and occurrences of unpleasant events in the family and property. He would say, Allahumma, inni ayadhu beka, min wa'athiha is safari, wa'akaga batal mun kalabi, walhori, batal county, wa'ata wadil mazlumi, wa'asuil manzari, filali wal mal. Reported in Sahih Muslim. Commentary, the Prophet peace be upon him sought divine refuge against the supplication of the oppressed, because Allah immediately responds to it. It is, Therefore, imperative that if a man has wronged anybody, he should recompense his wrongdoing before embarking on a journey, because the malediction of the wronged may invoke divine wrath exposing the wrongdoer to a risky and troublesome journey. Ali bin Rabi are reported, in my presence, a beast was brought to Ali bin Abu Talib, may Allah be pleased with him, for riding. When he put his foot in the stirrup, he said, Bismillah, with the name of Allah, dot. When he had settled himself on its back he recited, All praise belongs to Allah who has made this subservient to us, for we had not the strength to overpower it, and to our rub shall we return. He then recited thrice, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, and then three times, Allahu Abkar, Allah is greatest, dot. Then he said, you are far removed from imperfection I have wronged myself, so forgive me, because none but you can forgive sins. Then he smiled. It was asked, why have you smiled, O Emir al-Muminin, leader of the believers? He replied, I saw the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, doing as I have done. I, means, Ali, asked him, the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, the reason for smiling. He, peace be upon him, said, Your Rub, glorious is he, 
is pleased when his slave seeks his forgiveness. He, the slave, has firm faith that none except Allah alone can forgive sins. Reported in Abu Dawud and At-Tirmidhi. Commentary, after putting his foot into the stirrup, the rider should say, Bismillah, with the name of Allah. When he sits firm on the animal, he should recite the prayers mentioned in this hadith and utter the glorification and magnification of Allah, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah, and Allahu Akbar, Allah is greatest. Dot. Moreover, this hadith sheds light on the tremendous and matchless fervour of the companions to follow the Prophet, PBUH. This duet is not restricted to riding an animal, but includes all means of transportation, such as the plane, the train, and the car. Salam